So uh, this is the tutorial for uh, Zeus Master Olympus, my own tutorial, um, made this myself. So we're going to start off with the housing block. Um, it's is for fundamental fundamental um, aspect. Now I like to make my housing blocks um, sort of relatively thin but quite long. Um, this is a medium sized housing block that you can see, um, but I do like to perfect them. So um, I like to have. A, an exact amount of houses, not like a space missing or something like that, as you can see. Um, this is just to maximise the area that you're using, um, which has always worked well for me. Um, okay, so I always build two maintenance offices on either side, um, and obviously two water fountains and two infirmaries. Then I build one agora with a food fleece and olive oil. Um, and then add, um, I then add culture, like so, uh, two gymnasiums normally, uh, one college and podium, and one theatre and drama school. Don't ask me why I do this, but I, I, I just do. Um, I'm just quickly adding the palace, just so I can tax people, this is very important, um, and the tax officers, they're obviously for taxing people. You can uh, edit that where the man sitting on the throne. You can add it, add, edit the tax uh, requirements things, or how much they pay. All right, and the roadblocks. Roadblocks are very important because uh, people who like culture, maintenance office, uh, water fountains, infirmary, stuff like that, um, they can't go past for roadblocks. So if you block them off, you can create a, a rectangle or a square or a block, as I like to call it. Um, which makes uh, managing things much easier. Well, I find it does anyway. Alright, now I'm just going to delete your house here. I like to have uh, a couple of gaps here and there, just so I can build a road out if I need to. Uh, this just makes things a bit easier for me. Now, we've almost done... Bollocks. That about covers it for the housing block. The next topic is food, fleece and olive oil. Uh, unfortunately, in this level, I cannot um, produce fleece so all you need to do for that is put the little carding chest down near a field for purple stuff that is and put a little sheep down so uh, that's all good um, I'm going to quickly show you how to place farms not urchin keys um, I don't really have enough time to do all that okay so you need to place this on a field I prefer to do them in a row um, as so as as shown sorry um, and then obviously build a road with a maintenance office very nearby um, I like these and the wheat farms, they're my favourite because I think they produce a lot for what they're worth so if you can bear that in mind when you're choosing a resource to focus on um, yeah, okay, and if you can't build f uh, farms in um, in some place then it's, it's always good to try and focus on two sources of food alright, now we're going to cover olive oil um, you have to build growers lodges um, obviously place a maintenance office and then build a load of olive trees now once you've done this, um, you need olive presses, so place them nearby uh, and build storage for um, the olives and olive oil and you need this needs to be placed near the Agora uh, for access to it. Alright, now we're going to be seeing sort of whole processes and we should see an evolved evolution of, of what's happening, so yeah. I've placed husbandry so high and I can do this by clicking that little um, magnifying glass in the cog tab and you can edit which um, industry you want going uh, fastest or with most people yeah that didn't really make sense so I'll just show you there um, they're producing olives and they should be given to the olive production alright so there we have got um, a lot of food there I think we have it actually stored for 50 months yeah you can see 50 months there which is amazing amount. Um, okay, so things are evolving in, in, in the uh, housing block. Um, okay, weird effect there. I didn't put that in. That was it. Did it by itself. And you should see another one in a sec. Yeah, there it is. Um, sorry about that. But this is basically covering uh, the fundamental things for a housing block plus food fleece and olive oil. Uh, I need to import fleece, which will be shown in the next segment, I believe. Now the olive presses are obviously producing olive oil. So this is the last segment of part one, and it's exporting slash importing. I said that the wrong way around. Oh well. 
Okay, um, right, we just need to find out who's selling fleece. Um, this is probably the best example to use because we need it. So, um, if you go onto the world map and you can see who's selling and who's buying what. Okay, um, so Thebes are buying, uh, selling fleece, sorry, and that means we can uh, buy it. So if you put a storage base nearby, and it's always good to import near to your agora if it's food, fleece or olive oil. So um, this is just showing you literally how things are done. Now, um, apparently Egypt um, like to buy wit wine, so I'm going to show you the wine. Um, how I make it. Obviously, this is done with growers lodges again, and then you need to plant grapevines, grapevines, sorry, and plant, not plant, build wineries. This is much the same um, as olive oil production, just with different techniques. Um, so that's quite easy. Now, if you want to sell something, um, you'll be shown later on that you right click on the um, pier and press um, buy or import or export on that particular um, resource. Now I like to um, put it down so if you're importing 36 a year of a source put it as 36 so you're not buying too much, you're not overstocking but you have enough to survive. Okay now masonry is for marble Built, always build near a clay, uh, sorry not clay pit, um, a marble pit and you'll get fast production of marble. This is obviously very important and this is what I'm doing here. Uh, they will go out with their pickaxes and they will hammer away at the marble until my quarry pit and until you get a load of marble. Now timber mill obviously is for wood, they should be placed near um, trees. Uh, build a couple of storage bases for this Oh, in storage spaces, try and only accept one type of source, so you know exactly where everything is. Plus, you're not getting loads and loads of one um, resource, and it just and you have nothing for anything else. So you're just other stupid otherwise. Now I should start making. Um, oh, I forgot to talk to about a peel. A peel very important. Just put loads of it down, especially monuments. All right. Anyway, um, now they want. Um, wines but uh, currently I'm uh, my peak see on there have great vines they are uh, doing stuff <laughs> um, right so I've got some wine now right click sell go down to 12 and they should start selling uh, so we're very near the end of this as we're just trying to show you the process of selling as we've already showed you the process of buying um, wait for it okay the ships coming up Alright, so he's just bought some from us, and please subscribe for the next episode.